In amongst the dozens of videos we produce every month for MTD CNC, you'll recently have seen, if you're an avid viewer, us talking to engineers that have purchased the latest Haas UMC 750 five axis machining centers. Well, this story today is on that track as well. We're at Swift Tool Precision Engineering Limited. I'm gonna to talk to two guys here today. I'm gonna to find out some of the, the kind of more detailed reasons why they bought their UMC 750 machine. Paul is uh, standing just behind me on the control, so we'll, we'll first catch up with him. So Paul, thanks for uh, opening your doors here today at Swift Tool. Yeah. Firstly, tell us a little bit about the company before we get into the, uh, the UMCs. Uh, yeah, Swift Tool's been uh, established now for over 30 years. Uh, we're a high-end, high-precision uh, machine shop, specializing in the manufacture and supply of high-integrity, high-safety, critical parts, components, kits, and mechanical assemblies into the aerospace, the oil and gas, and the nuclear sectors. Some business you've got here, I mean, it's a huge machine shop. You, how many people do you employ? Yes, currently there's 91 staff in total, working on a two-shift system, and uh, turnover is generally around about £13 million pounds per annum. Now, the purpose of our visit, yet again, to talk about this uh, Haas UMC 755 axis machines, we're doing a lot of videos on these engineering companies. They are installing a lot of five axis machines into the UK market. What's interesting for me about your story is that you've already said to me about you producing high integrity, high precision parts, yeah. and even one of the, the uh, components on the, the, the second UMC you bought is a, is, a, is a pretty tough stainless steel, or a hard stainless steel. Yeah. So for you, when you're selecting a machine, you must, you must really look at what the machine can deliver, not just in the short term, but the long term, accuracy, yeah. and so forth. Yeah, so I think it's fair to say that the majority of the parts that, we, uh, that we're asked to supply uh, are manufactured from stainlesses, super duplexes, ink canals, titaniums, as well as softer materials such as aluminium. Uh, but we are seeing an increase in the complexity of the parts. So prismatic machining uh, is something which uh, we've been involved with for a number of years, uh, but we, we are seeing a, an increased demand there, hence why we've bought our second five-axis Haas. So Keith, you're the man that has the, the pleasure of operating and programming this machine. You've, you've got experience on Haas three-axis machines. My first question to you would be, how easy is it to come across from that type of machine, a three-axis, to this Haas 5? It's very easy. Um, most, most of the uh, things on the, the control are the same, but they, they're in different places. You've obviously got to think about, you've got two extra axes to think about. So as the machine's moving about, you've got to be aware of, of collision. But other than that, it's, you know, they're very user-friendly uh, control to work. And, you know, yes. and from your opinion, if you had to specify a couple of really major benefits to having this machine, what would they be, this UMC 750? Uh, for me personally, uh, after spending six years on VF8 and VF6 machines, climbing up and down steps, stretching in, leaning in, uh, sometimes having to climb into the machine to set things, this machine, the access of, accessibility of it is is, is brilliant. Everything is just within arm's length, no stretching, it's a good height. Uh, it, it's so much easier um, physically to work than... I've heard that from everyone we've spoken to. Second thing you said to me again before this interview was about the uh, the work shift. How, yeah. how does that work for um, our viewers? Well, this machine's got dynamic work, work setting on it. So um, to do this particular job, um, on, on the standard machines, you'd have to do two separate setups. Every setup is a chance of an error creeping in between the datums. But on this particular machine, you have one setup, one datum. And as the machine moves around to the different faces, it automatically works all the figures out. So it takes away that error of multi settings. Is this a good example? The fact that you've got this cylinder, this part on here. If you were to pick that up and move it to the far right-hand corner of the table, yep. you don't have to go through the resetting process of all no. the axes. No, once you set that first setting on your X, or X, Y, or all five axes, wherever that table moves, wherever it swings or twists, the machine automatically works out the figures to keep everything working around one datum. So you've got the, the, the 
also the fact that when you're setting those other machines, it's you that's responsible if you're moving from OP1 to yes, OP2. On so. this machine, the machine is taking the responsibility away. Yes, yes. And it Which is good news. It takes away the chance of the errors each time you set in. Less it's chance uh, of getting fired. Yeah, well, that's it. I hope so. <laughs> now, 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 tell me about the speed of this machine because this this model is the SS. Yes. The other machine you've got isn't the SS. Yeah. It's the UMC 750. There's there's a difference in speed, I assume. Uh, yeah. Um, one of the differences is the spindle speed. You've actually got about five thousand more revs or, or so. Um, which is so great therefore, for cutting. Therefore, for cutting, you can cut at a much faster pace, but it's also got much faster chip to chip for tool changes. You know, your, your fast traverse as, as the machine moves around, it moves much quicker than the other one. So to do the same job on this machine, it actually takes less time than doing doing it on the other machine. So a nice introduction from Haas to go the to go the extra mile. The the part we've got on here again interestingly is a nitronic component so that's yeah. not easy to cut is it no it's quite just tough stainless so uh, and and you do a lot of this type of work a lot of this type of work there's a lot of lot of exotic materials uh, anything you know from aluminium through to various sorts of stainless and have you used this machine for five axis simultaneous yet and if not is that in your plan not at the moment but it's you know it's certainly in the plan um, by having by having the capability, you, you can do all sorts of contouring and what have you, um, which we've not had, you know, not been able to do before. Now, with this sort of part, again, you wouldn't need the access at the top to load it. But do you like the fact that you you've got that ab ability to load parts through the top of the machine? Well, yeah. And it you need this, for, you know, from a health and safety point of view. Uh, and there will be times when we do put jobs on here that are too heavy to uh, to physically manhandle in. So the fact that the door opens for to see them and we can get cranes in, you know, it's... I think it's easy to get parts in and it's also easy to get swarf out, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know, we're having the, uh, you see the angled faces down here, down to the chip conveyor, everything naturally washes with, you know, with the uh, multi... Uh, um, you've got the coolant flood wash, you've got through yeah. spindle coolant, you've got a high speed spindle. That's what I'm trying to you say. Told, you told me all this <laughs> earlier. Give me a message that you'd say to engineers, owners of companies that may already have three axis Haas machines and are thinking, oh, it's going to be a bit difficult for me to make that transition to five. Just tell them how easy it may be. It is very easy. If you can work a VF6, a VF3, you can work this machine. You've just got to think about the extra axis. You can do it. Good. Great. Thanks, Keith. Okay. Thank you.